My name is Caroline Williams, and it is my honor to welcome students, families, faculty, and staff to the Southwest High School Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. While this ceremony is not what we pictured, know that it does not diminish our great accomplishment. I hope each graduate is surrounded by friends and family that will help them celebrate this huge achievement. Thank you to our speaker, Zach Smith, and to the Southwest High School faculty and staff for making this graduation ceremony possible. I would also like to thank each staff member, family member, and friend who has made this moment possible for the class of 2020. Without your help, we would not be here today. To this year's graduating class, congratulations, we made it. Over the past four years together, we have all worked hard to reach this point. High school has been a roller coaster to say the least. We have faced triumphs and hardships together, and each of them have made us who we are today. Our upperclassmen years have been a struggle, first with Hurricane Florence during our junior year, and now during our senior year, losing so much to COVID-19. I know many of us have been greatly affected by these events and have had to work extra hard to overcome these hardships. However, the class of 2020 has persevered through it all. We have survived high school and pushed past all the problems we have faced. Through these events, we have learned we are stronger than we thought and can accomplish anything we put our minds to. I am extremely proud of everything we have done and know each of us has a bright future ahead. As we part ways, some of us going to college, the military, or the workforce, remember the relationships you have made and all the lessons you have learned at Southwest High School. And don't forget, once a stallion, always a stallion. Now I would like to present to you Antonio Simmons. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, what a blessing you give us today to see another beautiful day together to honor the class of 2020. Thank you for blessing our lives up to this point and continuing to bless our lives moving forward. Lord, you have guided us through high school and helped us battle the adversities that came our way. In the last two years, we faced hurricanes and a pandemic. With these rough times, I know you have a greater plan for all of us. I thank you for the opportunities that you have given us to get to this point in life. No matter how hard times got, you were there. You brought blessings to us when we had no hope. I thank you for all the supporters you place in everyone's life that consists teachers, coaches, family members, and friends. Without these people, we would not be here today. They gave us a reason to continue. We give them everything, but we give more to you, God. Glory goes to you for the sacrifices you did for us. When there was darkness, you were our light. When we had chains, you were our chain breaker. And when we need a saving, you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to be our savior. Lord, continue to be with us through this journey of life. Though we were unable to have a traditional graduation ceremony, Lord, you have a greater plan that we may not be able to understand quite yet. For as your scripture says in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was God. Lord, your word was here before anyone, and it will continue to be here as we are gone. Lord, we will be careful to thank you and honor you moving forward in our lives. For in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Will you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Fellow classmates, today is an important day in all of our lives, a day that we will no time soon forget. Although it is not the way we have planned it to be, we are still here celebrating our hard work and accomplishments from kindergarten to now. First, I would like to thank all of the teachers and staff at Southwest High School for supporting us to this accomplishment and not giving up on us during this roller coaster of trials and tribulations during the past four years. Secondly, I would like to thank all of our family members, specifically mothers, fathers, and caregivers. You have been the backbone to helping us not give up. Without you, we would not have made it to this moment. Thank you for your contributions to making us the unique one-of-a-kind citizens today to embark on the next chapter of life's journey. At the beginning of this pandemic, my uncle told me that our class was born during 9-11. We have been through a devastating hurricane that made our 
school closed for months that led to the loss of our school's gym, and likewise caused us to miss out on some unforgettable, unforgettable moments of Southwest High School, such as pep rallies, but most importantly, we are not graduating during this time as we planned. We have missed out on prom, senior trip, and we are now hitting a milestone differently than usual. My response to this was, through these hard times, our class has accepted, changed, and adapted all necessary traits to a successful individual in today's ever-changing world. We never gave up. We have and are still striving for greatness. I once saw this quote by an unknown author. Life begins at the end of our comfort zone. Class of 2020, we have just been giving a taste of life early. Life is unpredictable, but if it's taken day by day, everything will work out. I miss high school already. I miss the Friday night lights and everyone going to cook out after the game. The football practices, the midnight madness, but most of all being the student athletic trainer, Mr. Foster in the stallion train, in his long speeches that he gives. Also, Miss, Miss Pollock and her loud, goofy self, Coach Pegram in his military language, and lastly, Coach Pegram with his hearing aids. Oh, the memories at Southwest High School. In all seriousness, with high school coming to an end, our new chapter begins. Whether you decide going to college, military, trade school, or working, I encourage and challenge every single one of you to reach your goals and dreams, and spe specifically, to never give up. Remember that everything you do yourself is the focal point. Do not be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. It has been one heck of a ride, Southwest, but we have made it through every bump in the road. Now it is your time to shine, and shine we shall. We will, my very best wishes for all of the life that has to offer in each and every one of you. Now I present to you Dr. Barry Collins. Thank you, Camry, Mr. Foster, Dr. McDuffie, and the distinguished members of the school staff at Southwest High School, the student body, class officers, family, friends, and most importantly, the members of the class of 2020. In mid-March, our lives were altered when the school year was put on hold. Over the following weeks, Microsoft Teams became our new classroom. As you and your teachers transitioned to online learning, and we began to realize that graduation ceremonies for the class of 2020 were going to, be, were going to look different. I want to commend uh, Mr. Foster and his staff at Southwest High School for their dedication to make sure that you and your classmates received an excellent education despite the challenges presented by this new learning environment. I want to thank your parents for supporting you and your teachers while balancing the many changes they faced as they dealt with the trials. The understanding they have shown as we have navigated the unknowns of this school year is greatly appreciated. Finally, I want to congratulate you, the graduates of the class of 2020. If there is one word that describes this class, it would be perseverance. Last year, our county faced destruction from Hurricane Florence. In the aftermath of that storm, you came together, you supported your community, you succeeded during a shortened academic year, you helped others in your community give, get back on their feet, you persevered. This year, we faced another blow. Our school buildings have been closed, people have been required to stay at home, and we learned new phrases such as social distancing and flattening the curve. They've been, become part of our everyday conversations. However, through all of this, you have continued learning. You have completed the journey you began almost 13 years ago. You have made your teachers and administrators very proud. You have made your parents very proud. You have persevered. As you move into the next phase of your life, I want to wish you the best of luck and happiness. May you never forget the challenges you have overcome. May you never forget all who have helped you along the way. And may you never forget you can persevere. Thank you and congratulations 
to Southwest High School, class of 2020. Mr. Foster. Thank you, Dr. Collins. We very much appreciate you being here this evening and joining us for the class of 2020's graduation. Definitely want to thank Dr. Barry Collins and all the work that he and his staff have done to make this school year the school year to remember. There was lots of opportunity for things to go in a direction we did not expect, but thanks to his staff to ensure that. Also a thank you to Ms. Lori Crowder, who's put in a lot of time and effort to make this come to fruition. And a thank you to Brent Anderson and all the work that he has done. And many of you are receiving phone calls weekly and daily for him over the last couple of years. So a shout out to him as well. Thank you to the teachers at Southwest High School. What an amazing job they have done. Amazing what they've accomplished. Thank you to our parents. The Southwest community, there's none like you. And we appreciate your support in a time that can be so difficult and so easy for emotions to control us. Thank you for your support. And then to our students, in particular the class of 2020. You've had two years and you've been in school for one. The years of being an upperclassman are the years that are supposed to be unforgettable. And boy, have your upperclassman years been just that, unforgettable. Usually I show up to this podium and introduce a speaker and I have this brand new haircut and I'm really excited about it, but I don't have that brand new haircut. My hair is as long as it's ever been. And seniors, I've got to give you credit. Every year I hear about a senior prank, but my gosh, you had to have the ultimate senior prank ever because your skip day has been going on since mid-March and you have pulled it off. Accountability is something schools face constantly, you as students face constantly, and we always think about content. Are our students getting what they need in math one, two, three, or four, pre-calc, biology, AP biology? Are they remembering what they may remember from American history, and in particular civics class their senior year? What do we teach? Well, I think it's evident now that we as teachers' responsibility goes far beyond the classroom walls, far beyond the content, and goes right into the heart and soul of what we do. And the class of 2020, you represent just that. Perseverance, hard work, dedication, and preparation. Obstacles are placed in front of you, but obstacles are for you to get over. Barriers built before you are simply there for you to destroy. You, as well as your teachers, have learned that over the last couple of years. And I've learned a lot as seniors have learned a lot this class. When I was growing up, when we picked teams, you didn't want to be the last one. You're all excited about being picked for a team. Then you went on the court or the field and you played the game. Man, the meaning of teams sure has changed. All of your own teams. Heck, I think I've had 274,000 mentions in teams over the last few months. Microsoft Teams, never thought I'd be on theirs. I don't think the class of 2020 did either. Zooming, we Zoomed for a while and then we quit Zooming and we went straight virtual, much like your graduation which is just unprecedented. You haven't had a gym in two years, but you're still graduating. Take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you will go. This is just the beginning. By no means is it the end. No matter how hard life can get, go to bed grateful for all that you have. This is just a piece of your life. And I got a few C's that you have in life. Choice, chance, and change. You must make the choice 
to take the chance if you want to change anything. And I'll tell you, you faced it. You have faced that adversity. But I'm going to be like the old optimist out there and remember what he or she said. Some who figures that taking a step backward after taking a step forward is not a disaster. It's more like the cha-cha. So if you realize life is a dance, sometimes you lead, sometimes you follow. Be an optimist. Be an optimist. And the last two things I'll say to you before I introduce your speaker. I ask God, why are you taking me through troubled water? And he simply replied, because your enemies can't swim. Remember that in everything that you face. And finally, one last thing I want to share. Typically on this night, I introduce the Southwest High School Teacher of the Year. Tonight I'm going to introduce, remind you of a teacher who was Teacher of the Year and so many other things at Southwest. And that last thing I'll share comes from a beautiful soul, a soul dedicated a life to education. For those that treat you poorly, do you wrong, or just make it where you don't like them or can't think of anything good to say about them, I learned a long time ago from this awesome, caring, compassionate soul and educator, Miss Kay Carlton, who we just recently lost. And on her behalf, I tell you, send them some love. Just send them some love. Because it's so true from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So the class of 2020, and all the hardship and things that you face, just remember, okay? Send some world or send the world some love on behalf of Kay Carlton. Once a stallion, always a stallion. Now I'll take this time to introduce your guest speaker tonight. From the class of 2004, Mr. Zachary Smith. Upon walking the stage in 2004, Zach received the Naval ROTC scholarship worth thousands of dollars. It sent him to Penn State University where he completed his degree and took his commission into the United States Marine Corps. Zach finished that career in the Marine Corps as a captain and went on into the, to the world working in the private sector. But he committed his life to service and provided a service to his country, one that only a small portion do. So tonight we welcome back virtually the Southwest High School, Zach Smith. Southwest High School class of 2020. Wow, what a year. And where could we even start to highlight just how crazy and memorable of a year it's been so far? As I was thinking about what to say to the graduating class that's had their entire life upended in just a few short months, I thought to look back at the year 2004, when I graduated, to see if anything as crazy happened then. Could it have been just as wild of a year and I forgot or maybe missed it? The answer is resoundingly no, but for reference, the Patriots won Super Bowl 38, final episode of Friends aired on NBC, construction of One World Trade Center began in New York City on the 4th of July, the Boston Red Sox won the World Series in a four-game sweep, breaking the curse of the Bambino, and Martin Luther King Jr. and his wife, Coretta Scott King, won the Congressional Gold Medal. So an interesting year, certainly, but not nearly as much of a roller coaster as what you've all been through. Take pride in the challenges and adversity that you, the class of 2020, has faced to get here today.
And if it feels heartbreaking to have spent the last four years working to get to this point, only to miss out on proms, senior trips, and even an actual in-person graduation, trust that in a few short weeks and at most a few months, you'll move on and be ready to take on the next great challenges ahead of you. Every generation has faced its own and found ways to overcome them, and I know the Southwest High class of 2020 will do the same. Heck, the most notable thing I remember doing between February and June of my senior year anyway was pulling the handle on the emergency eye wash and shower station in AP Biology when Ms. Davila was called to the office and left us alone. I also remember Ms. Davila escorting me to the front office once she returned and found standing water in her classroom. But the bottom line is, you'll look back in the very near future and understand that although these were important events, life will go on for you. And that brings me to the message that I want to share today. A bunch of you won't remember a single thing that we talked about, but I'm a big believer that if you can just take one small thing away from a moment like this, just one thing that you can put in your toolbox or keep in the back of your mind to use down the road, then you're better off than you were beforehand. And the message is, in life, sometimes the most you can do is simply take the next right step. Some of you had plans for after graduation that have changed or will change dramatically. That's okay, a global pandemic will do that. Take the next right step. Some of you believed after a short few weeks of summer, you'd be getting dropped off of the dormitory the same way I was, maybe a nine hour drive and 600 miles away. And now there's more uncertainty around those plans than ever before. That's okay, take the next right step. Some of you had plans to start a summer job you hoped might grow into a career. And a few of you may have had plans to ship off to boot camp and serve our country. And again, maybe those plans don't look like they did when you made them, that's okay. Take the next right step. Use this time after graduation and before beginning your next journey to reflect on who you are, who you've become over the last four years at Southwest, and who you want to be one day. Invest in yourself, your relationships, and your future by committing to new and healthier habits, by taking interest and in championing a cause in your community you know is important, or by giving your time to tutor, coach, or just love on someone who needs it. The time to prepare for tomorrow is today. Start by taking the next right step. Southwest High School Class of 2020, congratulations, best of luck, and God bless. Introducing the Valley Victorian for the Class of 2020, Mr. Justin Harness. Yo, what's up everybody? I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet. I'm trying to get back to playing Warzone after this. First of all, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2020 for surviving our chaotic four years of high school. The adversities we have faced, like hurricanes and corona, shutting down our school will help us be prepared for anything life has to throw at us. In life, all of us will come across obstacles at one point or another that may feel devastating and impossible to overcome. The important part during these times isn't about being perfect in the moment, but rather how we bounce back and learn from these experiences. Obviously, Corona has impacted all of our lives tremendously, but positive that came out of these dark times for me is that I've matured tremendously into the young adult that I am. I feel like I have learned to appreciate the simple things in life while we can still can because they can be gone forever rather quickly. Although I still have at least four years of school left at NC State, I'll definitely miss Southwest, especially scoring a bunch of goals for the soccer team and getting yelled at by Coach Mason catch a guy in front of me for cross country. Secondly, I'd like to thank everyone who has helped me get to where I am in life, not just giving us valedictorian speech, but for making me into the person that I am today. I'd like to thank Mr. Foster for being the best principal ever. I'd like to thank all the teachers and staff that have taught me or helped me ever since I started school by paving the way for me because they play a huge role in a kid's life. I'd like to thank all my coaches along the way especially my cross-country coaches, Coach Mason and Coach Layton Edwards, for teaching me to always push harder no matter how much I want to give up, and my soccer coaches, Coach Jenkins and Coach Chip, for teaching me valuable leadership skills. I'd like to thank all my friends and teammates for putting up with me through good and bad and making high school a blast. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for always being there to support me and be my rock when I needed them. They may or may not have allowed me to eat dinner if I had to be though. Nah, I'm kidding. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my sister for being my major motivation for being valedictorian. Being competitive by nature, especially with my sibling, I had approved as a superior child by redeeming the family name after Jordan got valedictorian in 2016. Yeah, my parents kicked out of the house to go to Chapel Hill after she disgraced the family. And especially thank you, Jordan, for causing teachers to always initially know me as Jordan's little brother. 
Sorry, Jordan, but I had to ditch you since I promised I would if I got Valak Jordan. But in all seriousness, thank you for being a role model through your many successes in life for me to strive to be successful as well. Just maybe a little bit more successful, though. Finally, I would like to thank wish everyone luck with whatever their future brings them, whether it be college, the military, or other work. You guys can become whatever you want to be. You might struggle at first, and you'll probably have to work hard to obtain it, but anything is possible. And I believe that every single one of you can reach your goals as long as you're willing to put in the effort. Hopefully, I won't ever have to see you guys again, though. If you're going to NC State and I see you there, I'm going to act like I don't see you and just keep walking. Nah, once it's Italian, always it's Italian. As a wise man named Forrest Gump once said, and that's all I got to say about that. Now let me introduce to you, Mr. Carl Curtis. At this time, I'd like to introduce the candidates for our 2020 graduation. Jillian Yvonne Alexander. Kendrick James Anderson. Justin Carlos Antipolo. Evelyn Carrie Arnold. Seth Avon Artis. Joseph Michael Askins. Camry Rayanne Augerton. Alyssa Renee Baker. Trishel Yvonne Baldwin. Ashley Marie Barr. Angel May Bevins. Natani Adrell Basello Romo. Kathleen Elizabeth Boone. Olivia Rose Borden. Austin David Bravo. Clifton Garland Brown. William Henry Brown. Bennett Lynn Buckworth. Destiny Michaela Lorraine Bullock. Mary Caitlin Bur Burgess. Tremaine Gillespie Burgess. Seth Jamal Kai Campbell II. Caleb Tanner Carter. Quan Devarian Daquan Carter. Joey Kajan Cepeda. Alexandria Jade Chadwick. Mayana Dayan Chadwick. Shay Morgan Cogdill. Sean Darius Trevon Cohen. Cole Grayson Conklin. Joseph Cabellos Morales. Garrett Edward Compton. Christian Jacob Stewart Darling. Kayla Amari Shanice Davis. Casey Hope Deboy. Brittany Chantel Espinoza Ruiz. Timothy Lewis Fisher, Jr. Jarek Alexander Foster. Kendrick Eugene Noble Foy. 
Nicholas Lee Fratty. Alexander James Fredericks. Jackson Daniel Fredericks. Gunner Frederick Ferguson. Joseph Gardillo. Craig Evan Gayhart. Jeremiah Elijah Noel Gennaret. Tristan Michael Gintz. Patrick Harley Giuliano. Dalvin Darnell Hall. Luther Emmanuel Hardison. Justin Waylon Harness. Jordan Anthony Hawes. Joshua Jordan Haynes. Jeremy Wayne Heath. Cameron Allen Hensley. Colton Douglas Hensley. Madison Starr Herbers. Neil Richard Herbstritt. Dylan Dwayne Ray Hoffman. Tronat Alice Holland. Cabrina Diana Holt. Tasha Ryan Jewel Horsley. <clears throat> Catherine Marie Hoyt. Bryce Nolan Hubbard. Nadia Kayla Hudson. Jordan Jean Emmon. Timothy Ray James. Destiny Rose Ann Jones. Savannah Elizabeth Judd. Sage Buck Kaufman. Micah Gerald Kemp. Nathaniel Reese Kraft. Stephen Joel Lanier. Nikki Page Lathrop. Matthew Joseph Lahan. Zachary Nicholas LaBeouf. Brooklyn Madison Lefevre. Hannah Tahaney Lefevre. Tyler Logan Leo. Isabella Faith Livingston. Raw Ambition Locker. Carlos Abraham Lopez. Magdalena Isabel Lovewell. Tiana Deisha Lucas.
Blake Alexander Medea. Alyssa Danielle Moretti. Maria Ashley Martin. Edgar Alejandro Martinez Martinez. Maria Angelina Martinez. Jared Matthew McCohen. Damien Narquise Meta. Randy Meeks. David Ernesto Minachevar II. Cole Nathaniel Mercer. Jamie Lee Mercer. Michael Daniel Miles. Serena Jane Mitchell. Tyler Dallas Mobley. Brianna Rochelle Moore. Angel Martin Morales Hernandez. Francisco Jair Morales Hernandez. Hunter Eugene Nade. Lauren Sonia Newbold. Christy Ortez Sanchez. Lucas James Otero. Taekwon Deontay Pagan. Colby Alexander Parker. Tyler Matthew Pazuski. Taiwan Brendan Lee Peoples. Joseph Edward Petrangeli. Nigel Platt. Wyatt Alan Potit. India Raiki Pouncey. Mark Dave Ramo. Alexis Kyra Ramirez. Laura Giselle Ramirez Moreno. Lauren Demetrius Rayner. Alana Sequoia Redmond. Reagan Olivia Reed. Chase Adam Rouse. Destiny Anissa Royal. Samantha Bailey Sanderford. Jacob Bryant Sanders. Nancy Marisol Santos Reyes. DeAndre Kevin Scott. Mason Reese Siegler. Alyssa Kate Salander. Matthew Ryan Sienna. Kaylee Elaine Silence. Antonio Devante Simone Simmons. Crystal Denise Smith. Madeline Elise Smith. 
Dwayne Edward Smotherman Jr. Desmond Notorious Square. Milton Bill Summers III. Lacey Jomay Swenson. Shelby Ruth Swenson. Nayani Aman Taylor. Belicia Alexandria Telez. Emily Ray Thompson. Stormy Alexis Michael Tigner. Austin James Treadwell Davis. Michael LaShawn Turner. Michael Dean Vacheralt. Astrid Aviles Vieira. Emily Lee Walton. Elissa Rena Ward. Imani Monet Waters. Tyra Jensen Weatherington. Joshua Theodore Whack Aiken. Austin Keith White. Logan Angeline Wiggs. Matthew Wilburn. Riley Lane Williford. Caroline Elizabeth Williams. Isaac Mason Williams. Madison Grace Williams. Taj Cavante Williams. Kenneth Riley Wilson. Brooke Morgan Wood. Damian Zeth Wood. Victoria Rochelle Woolard. Samantha Paige Yates. Jacqueline Zatina. At this time, I invite Antonio Simmons to the stage to present our graduates with the tassel turning. Seniors, it's time. Join me in turning our task off. We are graduates. Presenting you, Caroline. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for every blessing we have in our lives. You have created us, sustained us, and brought us through four years of high school. Without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you for the Southwest High School faculty and staff that have poured into our lives over these last few years. Thank you for the classmates and friends you have put in our lives and all the special times we have had together. I would especially like to thank you for our families who have helped us get to this point in our lives. Now, Lord, as we take these next steps, I pray that you would help each of us not to lean on our own wisdom, but to seek your guidance in everything we do. Lord, please bless us and keep us. Continue to look upon us with favor and grant us peace as we take the next steps in this great journey you have put us on. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you. 